Hi everyone, today we're going to study metric system. Let's begin with the length. First, let us define the length. It is the size or measurement of something from one end to the other. Let's go now to the metric system for the length. The unit for length is meter and the symbol is M small m. A meter stick will tell you how long a meter is. Now let's go to the units. The first is kilometer with symbol km and one kilometer equals 1000 meters. Take note that kilo means thousand. The next is hectometer with symbol HM. One hectometer equals 100 meters. Note also that hecto means 100. Next is decameter with symbol DAM. So one decameter equals 10 meters. Note also that deca means Tense. The next is decimeter with a symbol DM. One decimeter equals 0 0.1 meter. Deci means tenth. In other formula, we say one meter equals 10 decimeters. The next is centimeter with a symbol CM and 1 centimeter equals 0 0.01 meter or we read this, this as 100. Note also that centi means 100. In other formula, we may write that 1 meter equals 100 centimeters. The last one is millimeter with a symbol mm. One millimeter equals 1,000 meter. That is the 0 0.001. And the word milli means thousand. We may write another formula like 1 meter equals 1,000 millimeters. Let us see some conversion problem. Example 1. An athlete ran a 10-kilometer race. How many meters did he run? We may write this problem again into a simple one like this, 10 kilometer equals blank meters. We know our formula here that 1 kilometer equals 1,000 meter. So for our solution, we will write again this problem and multiply by 1 or a value that is equal to 1. And this value we will take from this formula here. Take note that we want to delete the km, the kilometer unit. So this one value here, we need to show as a fraction. And since I want to delete the km unit, I should write this left side, the 1 km, to be in the denominator. So that later I can cancel the km here and the km in the denominator. Of course, the 1,000 meters should come as numerator. Then we can cancel now the km and the km units respectively. Then go for the multiplication of 10 times this 1,000 equals 10,000. So we now include the m unit, that is the meters, and that's it. That is now the answer to our problem. 10 kilometers equals 
10,000 meters. For example, too, a table has 1.6 meters length and 85 centimeters width. How much longer is the length from the width? Take note that the unit of measurement must be common. If we look at our units of measurement here, one is in meter, the other is in centimeter. So we must do something to make the units same. So what we'll do, in step one, we're going to convert the 85 centimeter into a meter unit. We know that one centimeter equals 0 0.01 meter. So we're going to multiply this 85 centimeter into a fraction that is equal to 1. Since I have here centimeter, with this equation here, I can choose either 1 centimeter or the 0 0.01 meter down here. But I should be wise to choose the 1 centimeter for the reason that I need to cancel the centimeter unit. So the 1 cm should come here. Of course, the 0 0.01 meter should come on top as numerator. And then, see, I can now cancel the cm. There is no more cm unit, and what remains is the meter. So I can now multiply the 85 with the 0 0.01 and my answer is 0 0.85 meter. There is a quick way to do the conversion. If we are familiar with the relationship of the cm and the m or the meter, we can simply move the decimal point of this 85 two places to the left. So for the decimal point is on that part after 5, since it is a whole number, we don't show the decimal point, but we know that the decimal point is there. So we'll just move the decimal point two places to the left. We will get the 0 0.85. So let's go to the step 2. We are now to subtract the 1.6 meter from the value 0 0.85 meter that we get from the step 1. If you want to show the 0, it's fine. And then we do the subtraction. So the final answer is 0 0.75 meter. So this is the length that this length of the table is longer than the table's width. Let's go to the mass. As defined, mass is a measure of the amount of matter. So for the metric system for mass, the unit measure is gram with a symbol G, small g. Let's see the other units. The first is kilogram with a symbol kg and 1 kilogram equals 1000 gram. You see the word kilo there and the 1000 value here? It makes sense. The next is hectogram with a symbol hg. So 1 hectogram equals 100 grams. The next is decagram with a symbol DAG. One decagram equals 10 grams. The next is decigram. The symbol is DG. One decigram equals 0 0.1 gram. And we may write also that one gram 
equals 10 decigrams. Next is centigram with the symbol CG. 1 centigram equals 0 0.01 gram. We may also write 1 gram equals 100 centigrams. The last is the milligram with the symbol MG. 1 milligram equals 0 0.001 gram. So we may write also that 1 gram equals 1,000 milligrams. Let's see one example here. Father brought home 3,200 grams of rice. How many kilograms of rice are there? In simple equation, we may write 3,200 grams equals blank kilogram. For our equation, we know that 1 kilogram equals 1,000 grams. For our solution, we copy the 3,200 grams. We multiply by a value equal to 1. So here I want to cancel the gram unit. So it means I should put the gram with that 1,000 down here in the denominator. Followed by this 1 kg as numerator. And then we can now cancel the units gram here and the gram down here. So we multiply the 3200 into 1. We'll get the same value, 3200. Down here is the 1000. Then we divide the 3200 by the 1000. You will get the 3.2 kg or 3.2 kilogram. So this is our final answer. The next is the volume or capacity. Volume is the amount of space something takes up. Let us go now to the metric system for volume. The unit measure is liter symbolized by capital L. So the next is kiloliter symbolized by K capital L. So one kiloliter equals 1000 liters. The next is hectoliter. One hectoliter equals 100 liters. The next is decaliter, symbolized by DAL. One decaliter equals 10 liters. The next is deciliter, symbolized by DL. 1 deciliter equals 0 0.1 liter. We may write 1 liter equals 10 deciliters. The next is centiliter, symbolized by CL. 1 centiliter equals 0 0.01 liter. We may write 1 liter equals 100 centiliters. And the last is the milliliter, symbolized by ML. 1 milliliter equals 0 0.001 liter. And we may write that 1 liter equals 1,000 milliliters. Let's go to an example here. Let us convert 3.5 liters to milliliters. We may simplify the problem into 
L equals blank ML. We know that 1 ML equals 0 0.001 liter. Or there is another equation that says 1 liter equals 1000 ML. So there is a suggestion for easier computation. Use the formula that has no decimal. So we're going to use the second formula. For our solution, 3.5L, that problem, we copied here, multiplied to the value 1 or to the value equal to 1. So this value is a fraction that will come from this formula. So I want to cancel the liter unit. So I should put the liter in the denominator. So here is 1 liter. In the numerator is the 1000 ml. Then we can cancel the liter unit. Then 3.5 multiplied by 1000 is 3500. We copy the unit ml. The denominator of 1 we need not to write. So our final answer is 3500 ml. Thank you for watching. See you again next time.